Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, good, good. Preloaders, VI preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, and you know this by now, or at least you should. For those of you that are here for the first time, welcome to you as well. My name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant, and the name of this wonderful channel is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. I am out here in Colorado. I'm at Pikes Peak Harley Davidson specifically, and I'm gonna be doing two practice sessions here, uh, one on Saturday and one on Sunday. I just spoke to the uh, GM, Gil, awesome guy. I mean, just an awesome guy, very accommodating and hospitable and personable, and pretty much is gonna, it's almost rolling the red carpet out for me giving me a water, not a water, <laughs> providing me with water, a cooler, uh, tents, uh, and a motorcycle, right? But more importantly, allow me to use his range, right? And I, I spoke to the, the rider coach and manager of the range. His name is Chris, um, and very nice guy. He follows the channel, and I, w I really wanted him to be able to participate in the practice session, but he's going to be uh, out of town. I wanted Gil to participate, but he's super slammed. Um, as a matter of fact, he had to take a couple of seconds just to talk to me. I said, the life of a GM, right? All right, so anyway, I want to walk inside, um, and I'm going to talk to somebody and just have him tell us about Pikes Peak Holly Davidson. I know of this dealership, and big shout out to VI Preloader Stephanie. Stephanie came out to do some private lessons with me in Pula, Georgia, and uh, she killed it, man. She just killed it, right? She rented Angel, uh, and she rides a 24 uh, road glide and she hadn't ridden it before she came out to be with me but once we were finished she was like i would love to have you come out to colorado to do some practice sessions so she's the one that spearheaded all of this so huge shout out to her uh so anyway let's go inside check out the dealership and have somebody tell us a little bit about it all right so before we go inside guys this is the parking lot the range is right here of course that's part of the parking lot but they you know, they block it off so that they can do the MSF courses. And what I love, guys, see those yellow things on the ground, those lines, those parking lot lines? They're in there. So usually when I do an MSF course practice session, meaning when I do a practice session on an MSF course, there are no lines because it's just for that. But because this is also a parking lot, that just makes it so much easier, guys, for me to do my measurements. But if I pan around, and I want to show you guys something else too, that little building right there, that's like their flex space. So they can, they put some motorcycles in there, the basic rider course motorcycles that go in there. And uh, here's the dealership, a bunch of motorcycles. And it's a very nice looking dealership. It's not as big as it appears to be when I walked inside. I was expecting it to be a lot larger. Uh, but it's, it's, it's very nice, it's tastefully uh, designed. Got a bunch of motorcycles out here. But here's what I'm gonna show you guys. Clearly, I think these are the pre-owned motorcycles, I'm not sure. But in the background, like if you're in the dealership, this is what you see, right? And that's, I mean, to me, it's like, woo, because I don't see mountains often in Pula, Georgia. But this is the view from the windows inside of the dealership. All right, so let's walk inside. All right, and this is the vibe, guys. All right, what's your name? Abe, Chuck Estrada. 
And what's your position here? Uh, I'm actually a sales supervisor, salesperson here at Pikes Peak Harley Davidson. How long you been here? Uh, I've been at this location actually going on four years. Okay. What can you tell us about Pikes Peak Harley Davidson? Like every Harley Davidson dealership, something about their dealership is unique to them. Sure. What's unique about this dealership from other Harley Davidson dealerships? Uh, I think a couple of things. Number one, uh, I think we're probably considered, if we're not the highest dealership in the country, we're one of the highest because Colorado Springs sits at about 6,800 6, feet in uh -huh. So we're, Look at that. we're high, as you say. See, it's always something. Uh, <laughs> the other thing, too, is we're into a lot of performance builds. Kind of our deal here is getting into turbo, turboing bikes, uh, stage one, stage two, stage three type motorcycles. Really? Uh, we get a, a lot of customers that come in asking for high performance uh, parts and things done to their bike. Isn't that something? You have anything here now that you're working on? I absolutely do. Let's take a look at it. Way? Yeah, absolutely. Because I know that's what people want to see. Oh, yeah. We got road glides. We got street glides. We got a CVO section over there. That's my section. That we do. And then we also hear. Oh, look at this thing. What is this? I'll actually show you two different bikes here. Okay. We'll put eyes on this one right here. This okay. is a 2023 Street Glide ST. Uh, it is done with a Trask turbo system and a 131R engine on that. That was a, a crate 131R. engine. 131R? Yes, sir. This is ridiculous. All in suspension? All in suspension, front and rear, fully adjustable. 235 horse, 255 foot pounded torque. Say that again. 235 horsepower and 255 foot pounded torque at eight pounds of boost. I mean, I heard you. I just wanted to hear you say it again. Sure, no problem. That is crazy. Actually, the only thing on this bike that is stock will be the tins. Everything else uh, has been added to the bike. Very interesting. I mean, this thing is right next to your leg. Oh, yeah. Wow. And is this someone, does someone own this bike? No, actually, this is for sale. That's for sale. It sure is. Wow. Okay, what else you got? And then if you want to turn around, we actually have a bike that we went in with uh, Bare Knuckle Performance down in Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. uh, they partnered up and built this for us. This is a 2023 Road Glide ST uh, that we've had painted. Uh, we've gone to their paneer, paneer system for the rear bags. Look at that. Obviously, uh, stage two system with air cleaner and two into one exhaust by Sawicki Speed. Uh, they, those are also one off custom uh, floorboards made specifically for us. And again, a one off. Paint job also specifically mm -hmm. done for Pikes Peak Harley Davidson. Look at that! Wow, that's a that's a that's a very impressive paint job. That wasn't done in house, right? It came like this. Uh, at, when we sent it out to them, yeah. So they had a painter out there do it for us. And this is also for sale. This is also for sale. And then if we're going on with the uh, Pikes Peak Harley Davidson bare knuckle performance bike, we have one more which actually is gone right now. It's gone, okay. This is interesting, to say the least. Saddleman seat. Saddleman seat. FXR uh, side covers, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm looking at different. that. Very different. And these saddlebags almost look like the saddlebags off of a Pan America. Exactly. And this is something Bare Knuckle Performance actually sells as a, as a system kit through their website. Really? Mm-hmm. I got to tell you, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. First, I said when I was outside, I said this dealership looks like it's, it looks bigger than it is when you walk in. Sure. But I definitely wasn't expecting that. Look at that thing. Like, I can't stop looking at that. And you got, listen, I'm not a big fan of road glides. I am now with the new ones. Sure. But there's always one that I get you. Did the wheels as well? Yes, we did. Let's see the rear rotor's done as well. Yeah. Yep. How do they sound? Uh, incredible. I mean, they really do sound incredible. 
I wish I could stop that on the podium and uh, get it going for you, but... With this one, you can. I think I can on this one. Look at this guy. That right there, though. Look at that thing. Thank God it's here and not in, in uh, Savannah. Right? I hear it whistling. What is that, turbo? That is a turbo. That's enough. <laughs> We're inside, gotta respect that, but I'm listening to the turbo. That is crazy. <laughs> The other cool thing about this is that it's fully tuned and it's tuned on E85. So this corn shoes all the way. Oh, damn. This is not that extreme, right? Uh, this is not. This more is just a uh, appearance package okay. more than uh, a performance build. All right. So now the question that I know I have and everybody else is going to have, how much? Sure. We're looking at this one sets you back about 95,000. Okay. Uh, and again, perfect bike. It's completely set up. Anything and everything you see on here that you can do to a street glide has been done. Okay. If we go to this roguelite here, uh, we're at about 55000 which actually is not a bad price, especially the way that it comes with some of the one-off custom parts on it. You said it's a 2023? This is a 2023, yes. ST. ST. Okay. The engine is stock. The engine is stock. Okay. 55000 Hmm. All right, so guys... I, 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 do you want a CVO or do you want that? One thing I will tell you is you're going to see other people with the CVO. You're not going to see other people with that. That's, that's, that's like a one of a kind. I'm looking at this thing again, guys, even down to the, like, every other fork that I see like that, it's just a hole. They found something to put on that side at least. Thank God this is not in Savannah. Because I would buy it just because it's different. Just because it's different. Are you guys planning on doing anything like this? Wait, a 24 model? We are. We actually have a 24 in the back right now that we're getting ready uh -oh. to set up. Uh-oh. It won't be a collaboration. It'll be in-house just like the uh, turbo bike was done. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Is there anything else you want to say about the dealership? Uh, you know... I other thing about this dealership, we're actually the only only dealership in the world that actually has an in-house tattoo parlor. Oh, which really? Is upstairs, which is actually pretty cool. That we is cool. We used to house a uh, motorcycle museum, uh -huh. but uh, when that went out, we opened up a tattoo shop up there, okay. which is open uh, same days we are, so Tuesday through Saturday, okay. just like the dealership is. Okay, okay. Uh, other than that, we are, like I said, we're kind of performance-based when it comes to uh, the type of builds we do. Mm -hmm. We have a great experienced staff when it comes to sales, uh -huh. especially in parts. We've got a guy, Cedric, that's uh, been with Harley in general for just about 20 years. Okay, okay. Uh, so anything you need to know, any questions you have, you can feel free to come down, ask those questions, get those things that you need done, and that's what we're here for. Okay, and what's the address of this dealership? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see 5867 yeah. on the door. 5867 North Nevada Avenue. Okay, okay. Colorado Springs. And you're the, man, you're the, you're the boss of the salespeople. Uh, I'm not the boss. Of the, I, I do a lot of the, the training and sales myself. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, listen, I appreciate your time. Um, it's an awesome dealership. And I don't just say that. It really is. And this thing right here, oh, my God, this is what you need to lead with all the right. time. Like, this catches my eye more than this. Sure. Only because I'm not really into all of that speed, but... I want people to look at that bike. Look at that thing. All right. Pleasure, brother. Yeah, hey, absolutely, bro. All right, guys. So just a quick video. I wanted to get a chance to share with you Pikes Peak Holly Davidson. It's always fun going to different dealerships and seeing how they run stuff and, you know, things like that. Uh, I just spoke to Gil again. Uh, he told me he used to actually work in, um, in Georgia, Falcons Fury and another a dealership that he had. Uh, just an awesome guy. He said, do you need a motorcycle to ride around? And I was like, eh, I don't think so. He was like, well, let me know because I'll, t I'll throw a dealer plate on it. And then you can ride it around. So I told him, you know what? Yeah, let's do that just in case. 
Um, normally when I do these practice sessions, after the practice session, I'm beat. I'm not thinking about riding anywhere. Um, plus, you know, these hips are not great. But you never know. Like tomorrow, I don't have anything to do. So if I want to go for a ride, maybe I could. Anyway, listen, guys, that's going to do it for me. Um, tomorrow's a rest day. And then after that, Saturday and Sunday practice sessions out here on this course right behind me. Sorry if I gave you vertigo doing that. <laughs> I make it a habit not to do that. And that's going to do it for this video, guys, all right? Listen, I love you. It's not about being the best, guys. It is about being the boss, though. Spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. Seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. And if you have time to ride your motorcycles, you have time to practice on them like we're going to be doing out here. Until next time.